Ang anghang! Bob! Hindi, kaya yung anghang, guys. Ang anghang! We oh. are gonna go to Japan. This episode is very exciting. Sabi nila ba't di daw kami nagsusushi, di daw tayo uh. nag to Japanese food. Eto na yun guys. This is it, Pansit. And the restaurant we are going today, it's called Kazunori. Like a lot of Filipinos, the both of us were big fans of Japanese cuisine. Bawat uh, city. Kahit nga sa food court may Japanese oh, restaurant. Oh, ilan ang Japanese uh, restaurants? Really? Sa mga fans ng Japanese food, there is uh, you know a, a kind of like pursuit to look for the best authentic Japanese oh. experience that you can get dito sa Pilipinas. And for us, we think Kazunori is up there. Yes. It's definitely one of the places that you should try if you're looking for talagang like good authentic Japanese food. When you enter the restaurant, you are greeted by the Kazu Cafe slash bar. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And then the other half is the Kazu Dining. You parang a la carte yeah, menu. Parang, na. Ano siya, dining siya na restaurant. restaurant. Maganda yung tables, maganda yung setup. And then the third one is the omakase, the sushi bar. Actually, we've tried all. Yeah, um, we've tried all. For the omakase, ang sarap. Yeah. So good. As in, super, super good. Kasi the sushi chef is actually Japanese also. The date na tayo doon, di ba? Yeah. Remember, we, we went there nung bagong sign si Kali for um, GMA. Yeah. So that was our celebratory dinner. Prior to the pandemic, I would always go there for work. I would work there alone, at the right. Uh, just think of ideas because it's ang, ang chill nung place. Eh. And what's even more special, which um, unfortunately we can't show you guys now because their dining area is closed. The restaurant itself is beside a car dealership. As in guys, literal, walang hindi nila hinarangan. I mean, yeah. glass lang. <laughs> when we were there prior to the pandemic, as in, kakain ka habang may, may mga like, nag-i-inquire ng kotse, tumitingin sa, sa showroom. Which gives a very unique experience. Yeah. So, kamusta yung prices? Well, it's not that budget-friendly, to we'll be honest. No, you get what you pay for, but it's not extremely expensive. It's somewhere above average. Above average. I would say, siguro, if uh, dalawa lang kayo and you wanna get food, Siguro prepare ka around uh, 2, 5 to 3K. With drinks na yun and everything. Yeah. And by the way, if you haven't heard of Kazunori, I'm pretty sure you've heard its other spin-off restaurants or the restaurants that the owners also own. Because the people behind Kazunori are also the owners of Mendokoro and Yushoken. So, so they have similar gyoza. They have exactly the same yeah. gyoza. Pero but it's not available. Kami sa gyoza, oh. hindi siya, hindi siya available for takeout. It's only available for dining. For dine and we are on MECQ now, so we can't avail the gyoza. Yeah. They have other dishes to make up for the gyoza, which we will find out in a few moments. Okay. Kazunori! Here we come! All right, guys, we're approaching our destination. So right now, they are only open for pickup and delivery, siyempre. Ito yung sinasabi naming Mazda, oh. Yeah. Ito, yan. It says fully parked. Okay, uh, time to get our food and guys, just infect Guys, ikalang order ah. So wala akong masyadong idea kung ano yung order. Basta I got the best that they could offer and some classics that you would want to see. Look at this gorgeous box! What's this kaya? What is that smell? I smell utot! You! It's the curry! No, it's the utot box. Utot box! Okay, okay, we'll do some peppers. Make life easier. 
we brought our clean kitchen. This is not an ad. I do recommend this boodle. It's the clean kitchen. So it's a natural sanitizer spray. It's made of 100% natural brew sugar cane alcohol. Para spray spray na lang. Here is what we ordered. We ordered one order of Ebi Tempura, a classic. One order of Kaisen Shirashi. So this is a shirashi bowl. It's rice topped with mixed sashimi. Mm -hmm. The next we ordered their signature dish, the Karai Niku Soba. It's a cold noodle with hot dipping sauce. Then we ordered katsu curry and katsu don. So some of the classics that we would love to try. Katsu, katsu. And lastly, we have the unatamadon. The unatamadon is unagi, eel. You ready? Yay! Okay. Wait lang, to start off everything, para fresh yung palate natin, para very Japanese vibe agad. Sarap. Very, you know, real miso soup. Hindi lang siya yung parang nabili somewhere. Alam mo yung parang nabili lang sa grocery, tapos minix lang sa water, parang ganun. Obviously, this is a premium quality. You, know? you get uh, really your money's worth, even in the miso smallest soup. of dishes, yeah. the miso soup. Set up. One and a two and. A... Wow. Hi, man. Oh no, I can see uni. Yeah, ko pwede sa uni. Uni or sea urchin. Okay, I puke whenever I eat uni. Like literally, I went to Japan. I tried an uni sashimi. I was rushed to the hospital. Because your chan can't handle it. Yeah. Look Kaisen at that pretty shirashi. girl! So pretty! Sobran, ano. It has everything. Inside, uh, from the from what we see lang now, ha, there is salmon, shrimp, tamago, salmon roe, there's tuna, there's squid. I think that's hamachi sa baba. It's all over rice. Okay, dig in. Salmon sashimi, her favorite. And a lot of... People's favorites. Diba, ano ako, may rupok ako sa spicy. Pero Bob's, ay, guys, Bob's din kayo. Pero guys, sa wasabi, I go all in. One, two, three. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Hinabol, hinabol yung kanin. Boom. Ano ini-imagine mo? Sa dagat ka? <laughs> Look at that, guys. Fatty tuna. S super fatty tuna. Fatty tuna, here we come. One, two, two three. Oh Ay. my gosh. Sobrang decadent naman nun. Napaka naman nun? Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, and the rice, guys. Ah. Shut up, no rice. The rice is vinegared. Wow, that tuna. Okay, so when we were in Japan, pumunta kami sa Akihabara. Super hindi namin in-expect na we would find a great sushi place there. Tinatopak lang ako nung time na yun kasi super gutom na ako, remember? Yeah. And then may nakita lang si Kalil na pinakamalapit ng sushi place. So we went there kasi kami lang yung tao. It was a big sushi place actually. Tapos patay na oras, so walang tao. And then the sushi wasn't that expensive, di ba? Saktuhan lang. Saktuhan lang. And then, oh my God, we ate so much fatty tuna. Sobrang da. Sinulit so namin. Oh God! Sobrang sarap ng fatty tuna. For those of you na hindi pa nakakatikim ng fatty tuna, para siyang tuna na 10 times mas masarap. 1, 2, 3. Mmm! So this compared to um, the tuna and salmon, is a bit saltier. Mm -hmm. Chachuier. Yeah. Yung taste ng dry salt type. Better siya with the rice. Sige na nga, bigyan na. Inaangkin eh. Timo oh, yung plato ko. Oh. <laughs> oh. This is another fish that we don't know the name. Pero kasi when you eat a shirashi, you just really eat it eat all everything. eh. You just eat everything. Things to order at a Japanese restaurant is shirashi. Yes. And you know they're a good, they're a good quality Japanese restaurant when they have top quality shirashi yeah. dons. One. And a two. two. And a three. Mmm. Garbage, how about fresh? Mm. Next, we're gonna have. Look shrimp. at that shrimp. See, tinin yung different. Ang laki ng shrimp sashimi. Ang laki, sobrang laki. So pretty. Okay. Pretty na hipon. Yeah. One, 
Mm, sarap ah. The shrimp is cooked pala. Mm-mm. Mayroong version na raw eh. Oh, it's sad, huh? Yeah, it's cooked, but it's wow, it's good, huh? There's so much flavor mm-hmm. inside, no? Okay, next up, guys, we have ika or squid. One of my favorite, also. One, two, two, three. Mm. You know, it's really top quality. Hindi siya mushy. It's chewy. The consistency is really good. It's fresh. It's fluffy. Uh, Hindi lang malan sa. Yeah, minsan kasi with shirashi, especially with raw sushi, sometimes pagka hindi fresh, pagka frozen, medyo malan sa na, medyo yes. makate sa dila. Mm-hmm. Sa lahat nung nakain namin so far, wala. Last, dito sa shirashi, is the egg. Tamago. One, two. Mm. Okay, usually I would neglect tamago kasi parang ang first bland. For Minsan me kasi bland, parang diba? ano ng egg lang na walang lasa. Pero this one may lasa. This one's tamago done right. It has the sweetness. It has mm. the creaminess. Other tamagos kasi are bland. Okay, we're done with the shirashi bowl. Let's get a slice of ginger each to cleanse our palate. Okay. Kung hindi nyo pinapansin tong mga salabat <laughs> na nasa gilid ng mga Japanese dishes nyo. It's actually to cleanse your palate. It's to cleanse your palate for the next, for the next dish. dish. Yeah. And actually, if you're eating a shirashi, the proper way to eat it With is to have a slice of ginger every, every after, after fish. Yes. Okay, one, two, three. Mm. Palate cleansed. Another favorite nating mga Pinoy. Yeah. Always kailangan may order tayo na to pag nag Japanese restaurant. And it's the ebi tempura. Ebi tempura. Ebi tempura is pretty straightforward. Alam niyo na kung ano yun. Let's let that swim. Swimming, swimming. Come on, swimming, swimming. Swimming, swimming. <laughs> One, One, two. two. Mm. That's good. Yeah. Madami kaya ng ganto ka sa tempura. Mm. Kung baga, it's not like ano, fascinating na parang, oh my god, ang sarap, hindi naman. It's a well-made tempura. I wish it could be crunchier, but I think that's because take out. Na take out na namin. Pag dine-in, syempre, mas crunchy, mas fresh. Freshly cooked, rather. You don't eat the tail? I eat the tail. You don't eat the tail? It's good. Comment down below kung kayo din kinakain yung tail. Di ba bawal, guys? Bakit ang bigat nito? It's time to get serious. Ang bigat. <laughs> B-roll, pasok. Oh my golly, jeez. Here we have another classic favorite nating lahat, katsudon. Here's their katsu, guys. Tinin nyo naman yan, oh. Tinin nyo naman yan. One, okay. two, three. Mmm. Ang sarap naman ng katsu na yan. Usually, I don't order katsudon because I find it so... Simple and I find it para boring. Boring, na, pero ito masarap. Right? It's my first time trying their katsudon ever. Like, sarap ng sauce, no? Oh, oh, ang tamis and ang alap. My comments on it, it's a really, really good katsudon. Yes. The cut of the pork, ang laki. Uh, it covers like the whole, eh. kung nakita niyo kanina, buong topper, where isang malaking pork cutlet. Hindi tinipid at all. The egg is also good. The sauce is really good. I just wish the pork was a bit more tender. Yes, medyo matigas lang. Yeah. It or, could pero do, masarap. Masarap siya. It could do uh, a bit more tenderness. I don't know if that's um, sa preparation or the source of pork. I don't know. I'm not sure. If um, you're a fan of katsudon, it will satisfy your katsudon cravings. Up next, oh, let's keep it in the realm of katsu. Next, we have katsu curry. Do the honors. You're gonna have to buhos the curry oh, no, sauce on top. Ooh. So Japan. Ng amoy grabi. Jap grabi. Grabi Garcia. Oi, parang mas malambot yung ano dito. Ah. Oi, may mga buong sili ah. By the way, guys, pinapili pala kami earlier um, yung spiciness level niya. So they let us choose from level 1 to 5. We chose number 3. So we're in the middle so that 
si Kalil gets his bite and ako medyo magse-struggle. Mag-iinom ng tubig na. Okay. <laughs> so sa mga fans ng spicy food, you can go all the way to 5. So one comment namin sa dalawang pork katsu dishes, the pork could do a bit more uh, tenderness. Katsu curry. Katsu curry. Let's go. One. One, two, three. It was at this moment that he knew. He up. Ang ang hang, <laughs> Bob. Ne kaya yung ang hang guys. Ang ang hang. Kaya siya. Medyo nakakagulat ng yung ang hang because hindi siya sa dulo sa simula pa lang pagkain mo maang hang nagen siya. Mm -hmm. It's good, no? Mga last yah. Addicting to. It's good, pero I would order it. Number one, I'm not a super fan of curry. Sakto lang. I don't hate it, I don't love it also. And number two, the spiciness for me, parang hindi ko siya ma-enjoy because of the spiciness. Pero feeling ko kasi kung wala na rin tong spice, hindi na rin siya yung curry. Yung, yung <laughs> dish na. Ako, I've tried other katsu curry at different restaurants. For me, personally, this isn't the best one that I've tried here. There are better ones here. They still nailed the Japanese curry flavor and taste but like gab said this isn't won't be my go-to dito okay these two next dishes are uh, ano na ito na yung mga signature dishes na susubukan niyo sa kazunori aside from the shirashi kanina the shirashi kasi that's one of the dishes that kazunori prides itself of mm -hmm. having like really fresh seafood yes. imported from japan actually so, yun yung binabalikan dito oh okay. ako din eh Aww. if punta ka dito yun talaga yung must try we have here the una tomano de una uni the uni don buri uni ah uni no no, no. unagi 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 kinabahan siya eh. the unagi don buri one time, di ko alam na may uni yung kinain ko. Nagsuka siya sa gas station. Sa gas station na, ano ha, puro boys. Wala akong pakialam, naka-heels pa ako nun. Labas ako ng kotse, tabi! <laughs> Sumuka siya eh. Yeah. Okay, this one's unagi, eel. Wow! Look at that unagi. Look at that egg. You must know that unagi is expensive. I think just cause it is expensive talaga. So, ako, I expected for this dish to have more unagi. Dalawa lang eh. <laughs> Dalawa lang siya eh. Parang mag-aaway pa kami ng unagi. <laughs> Parang yeah. ito lang siya guys. I mean, it's pretty and all, you know, the plating and everything. But even Ay, for yeah. a takeout, pero parang ta apat na subo mo lang to, besh. One, two, three. My lord. My lord. There's more inside. There's more unagi? Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. Sorry we judged right away. But meron pa pala sa loob. Sulit to. Sulit pala siya. Sorry. It's so good! Oh! Oh! Mm. One, two, so good. <laughs> Yun lang yung sasabihin. Okay, okay. I often order unagi in different Japanese restaurants, right? Mm -hmm. So, yung iba 900, 1,000, 800 for a bowl. This one is super sulit. Kasi ang dami pala niyang laman. The, the unagi is so fat. And it's mm -hmm. really malambot. It's really good. It's more hindi familiar sa taste. No unagi. The sauce niya, it's the Japanese barbecue. It's sweet. Sweet barbecue. Very sweet. Similar to the sauce ng chicken teriyaki, but not exactly the same. Because the characteristics of the fish, yung taste ng eel, rather, gives just so much uniqueness no, to the dish. Yes. Very unique yung ano. I don't think you can find it in Para any other dish. Para siyang sweet na eel. Uh -huh. Para siyang karne na isda. Ganun yung feeling. And you can understand why it's very sought after because it just tastes so great. Like a really, really good tasting dish. 
that you know deserves its popularity yeah and maybe its price <laughs> Again, meron silang dish na talagang punong-puno ng unagi. But this is the cheaper one. Oh my gosh, ang sarap. This is what dreams are made of. This is... Yung egg din, yun, no? Masarap din yung egg, by the way. Very, um, siksik, the egg. Mm -hmm. Very siksik. Kasi nga may fishy feeling and fishy taste yung, ano, diba, eel. Yeah. It's a good way to balance, balance the taste it. in your mouth, the egg. Alright. Now, for our final dish. This is the signature dish of Kazunori. This is the Karai Niku Soba. So for those of you who are wondering, na lamon kami ng lamon ni Gali sa front seat foodies, but then we do gain, but not like super duper duper gain. Yeah, we don't eat like this one every day. Oh, yeah, we don't eat like this every day. <laughs> we hope we could. Yeah. We hope we could eat like this every day. Like for example, today nag shoot kami, so tomorrow cleanse kami, like, mm. ano talaga, clean food kami, tapos, ano lang, ba diet, but, pagka front seat foodies day lang, dun kami, like, wow, I did gain, I did gain, but, yeah, I did gain too, but I'm, kumbaga, I'm okay, mm. I'm okay with it. Okay, next is a soba dish, cold noodles siya, talagang it's served ng malamig, tapos, yung dipping sauce niya, mainit. The way you eat it, you get your cold noodles, tapos you dip it in the hot, tapos, kain. So the reason why Kadal is doing all the talking is be is because he loves soba. Yeah, it's my go-to. I, I don't. Diba Bob, in best ko na yung sinabi sa'yo. Hindi ko pa nahahanap yung appreciation ko for it. But let's see. Maybe that could change today. No, because yung ibang soba kasi... Matabang. Very matabang. Yeah. Kaya di ko siya ma-appreciate. Ito mas pronounced yung taste. Okay guys, so this dish may require a bit of assembling. So if you're like us and you're gonna eat in the car, medyo matrabaho lang siya. So here, I'll show you guys how to assemble just the dipping sauce lang naman. Alright guys, so box na to, you get your beef. Uh, I think, I believe these are scallions. And then these, you put these all into the dipping sauce. This is extra spice, but we won't be doing that. Because Gabi is here. If na ako lang kayo sa spiciness, pwede yung lagay to. Let's put all the wasabi. Everything. Seaweed. And then, you're gonna put the beef inside. So, bakit, bakit ka na ano, nahilig sa soba? I think it's, well, mainly because it's because of my dad. Si daddy kasi yung lagi yung in-order niya sa mga Japanese restaurants. It, it's also a really good partner kasi sa mga ulam. Kung hindi ka magkakanin, nagsasoba ako. Okay. Then, okay na. Your dipping sauce is complete. Okay, so get a bit of uh, your soba. Get a bit of your soba and then dip. Nice your shot here. Dip it like that, baby. Mm. Oh, yeah. Panalo. Favorite ko talaga to dito. Whew, yeah. 10 out of 10. Bob, how do you eat this again? Sorry. Just get noodles okay dip it get a bit of beef while it's dip then eat it so i have my noodles i am oh like they got sila sa japan no ice japan sa kazunorio they're japanese also my dad always said that if you see Japanese people eating at a Japanese restaurant dito sa Pilipinas, that's how you know that it's a good place kasi yeah. kumakain doon mismo yung mga Japanese. Yeah. So we just saw two Japanese men uh, walk out with their takeouts. And I always see also mga Japanese yeah. people eating here. here. Yeah. Pero masarap, okay? It's good. I like na there's flavor. Kasi yung iba kasi na soba, wala talagang flavor. Very hindi talaga siya kasi yung Japanese dish for me. But you know, it's really good. I enjoyed this soba compared to the other sobas you ordered. Na per plain lang. Na plain lang. And the noodles, maganda yung texture niya. Not sure if it's authentic Japanese or fusion, but nevertheless, 
it's one of the best noodle dishes that I've had in a Japanese restaurant dito sa Pilipinas. This is my go-to order. I'd go here, I'd work, and I'd order just this. Ito lang. Yeah. Busog ka na eh. Sikali talaga ito. Ang daming, ang daming ng noodles, and uh, the sauce is really good. Okay, to describe naman the taste of the sauce. Yung, yung sesame seeds and the sesame oil, very uh, familiar yung taste niya. Merong slight nutty flavor mixed with a uh, really good spiciness yeah. from the chilies. The beef also, the beef is super tender. You know, it's a, a really, just a really overall great dish because you have your protein there. You have your carb sa, sa soba, which is, by the way, buckwheat. So, mm-hmm. if you're watching your carb intake, it's pwedeng, buckwheat. Pwedeng, pwedeng, yeah. pwede siya. I can ulam the beef with rice. Yeah. I knew you would say that. It's also garlicky. You can taste, definitely taste, parang sesame oil, chili oil style. It's actually very oily. The beef is a sukiyaki cut, very thinly sliced beef. Sarap. Ako, I love this dish. Definitely a must try. Okay, ako, overall, the dishes that I enjoyed the most would be the chirashi don. And I feel like it's already given. Kasi dito talaga sa Kazunori, as we said earlier, na ang binabalikan mo talaga, yung fresh fish nila, yung sashimi sushi, di ba? And their omakase, which consists of like a lot of variety ng sashimi. But surprisingly, the second one would be my unagi. I really like the unagi dun. So those are my top two. Ako naman, uh, my verdict, like Gab, ang binabalik-balikan dito sa Kazunori is their seafood. Yeah. So if you will order just one thing, I suggest you order any of their seafood dishes. Mapa, nigiri, sushi, sashimi. Or like us, we got the Kaizen Omakase Shirashi, which has everything, yes, everything on top of it. You, there's fatty tuna, salmon. salmon there's everything. It's everything. Para matry na lahat. No, no joke talaga, guys. Yeah. One of the best sashimis ever. Top quality talaga. Yeah, top quality. Like, really comparable na to what they have in Japan. Yeah, you can actually put it side by side. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then the next is the, for me, the Karai Miko Soba. Eh, soba guy, kay, yeah. Yeah, I love soba, I love noodles. Pero simply because you can't find it anywhere else. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If, if you were to go here and to order a dish that's unique to Kazunori, Get the karaini. That's it for another Bond that episode. Yeah, I love this episode because Kazunori is really close to our hearts. Yeah. And you got the sneak peek of what's in Kazunori. Hopefully, guys, you can also try Kazunori. Pero yung omakase naman next time when you know restaurants open na ulit, kapag po na sila mag accommodate ng guests. Yung tasting menu nila. Tasting menu. Their, their degustation, their omakase is like the bomb.com. It's the best for us, the best uh, Japanese. And here. we've also recommended this to a lot of friends also, and they enjoyed it. Yeah. And you get to see cars if you're looking for a car. Siya ko talagang, <laughs> siya ko talagang sa harapan siya ginagawa. Yung, yung sushi chef. Yeah. Talagang nasa bar kayo tapos enjoy siya. Very, very traditional o makasin. Mm-hmm. Alright guys, that has been another episode of Francie Foodies. We hope you enjoyed. Ginabi na naman kami. Yeah. Okay, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notifications bell. Thanks guys! Thanks guys! See you on the next one!